Hey, what's up guys? Mule Skull here. Welcome back to Starbound for the first time this series. Uh, this is the update Glad Giraffe. Glad Giraffe. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're going to be starting a Let's Play of Starbound. Um, yeah, I've played this a few times. But today we are going to start with a new character. And, um, I think we're gonna go with the Nova Kid, because I've never played through as a Nova Kid. Casual. Uh, let's randomize a few times as a dude, because I'm a dude. Um, what color? about that one? What kind of excellent hair should we have? Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, let's go with that one and some pur to pants looks good kind of shirt color we could do better that's okay okay um personality sure that works I guess uh, our name will be Muley Nova Kid. Okay. Belly button. Your belly button makes a difference. Oh, brand, what? I didn't even notice that. Um, let's go with, uh... That one. Okay. Let's do it. Casual. Go. Okay, so, yeah, that was painless. So let us begin. I don't remember how I got here. My ship has been damaged. I need to repair the ship's thrusters and patch up the hull. Okay, uh, we're going to be playing this on a 3x zoom because, um, yeah, 4x or 2x, I think, <clears throat> is a little too far away. Uh, this is Sail, ship-based artificial intelligence lattice, and that was kind of weird. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, looks like you're messed up. So let's reboot the ship AI. Uh, issue command, boot initialized. New super user, super user acquired. Hello, thanks for that. I am Sail. And I'll be helping you out. I've restored the backup power for you. The thrusters and FTL drive are still offline. We should start by enabling your matter manipulator. This is how you mine, uh, wire things, um, paint. It's basically your tool. So let's issue that command. Excavation mode. Which is the R key. Uh, it worked. Enables you to pick up stuff, move, collect objects, materials. Uh, we can enable the teleporter. You can turn on the ship's short-range teleporter. It'll take you down to the planet below. Be careful down there. The first thing I should do is check the ship's locker. At the very least, I'll need a flashlight. But there should be some other supplies there too. In there too. Okay. Um, we can't repair the thrusters yet. Uh, we need 20 core fragments from the planet below so this this one is uh this patch is a lot different than the patches we've had in the past uh, a flashlight a weapon and a few torches for good measure time for me to head down to the planet it's time to make a crafting table I should beam down to the planet and use my matter manipulator to fell trees for wood then press C to open my crafting menu and see what I'll need okay so uh, we're gonna put that there Oh, that's right. Guns. Gotta have guns, right? Okay. So yeah, um, this update adds... It's the combat update. So now our weapons, uh, two-handed weapons, have a special ability. This one's piercing shot, and you do that by right-clicking. So you'll see my uh, stamina goes down substantially from that, where the normal shot doesn't bring it down as much but I got a piercing shot so that's cool 
Um, I also have the flashlight and pistol combo, which is a good one. What else do we have in here? Nothing. Okay, so it's time to beam down and check out our world. Alright, this is Hamaski Eclipse 3 Alpha, so... I think it's a moon. Or no, it's not a moon, it's just a planet. <laughs> and here we are. So we'll start by chopping a tree to make a crafting table. Which we use the matter manipulator for. I wanna look at this. That looks so cool. I love the backgrounds in this game now. Alright, so we're starting a new survival, my friends. Um, that music seems really loud, doesn't it? Let's check that real quick. I usually have it down to like 40 and 60. That seems better. That way I'm not screaming at you guys. <laughs> so yeah, just taking down some trees. Then we're going to craft some stuff. Uh, first thing I want to do though is place these saplings again because I don't like to have a million saplings of trees I don't really care for anyway. These are just the first trees we found. Um, you could actually place them right next to each other and they still grow, which is one of the best things about this game. Okay, so we have some unrefined wood. Um, let's craft ourselves some planks. Like a, a bunch, because planks are all, they always come in handy. And a wooden crafting table. Great, I can use this crafting table to create lots of items that I can't make with my bare hands. Plant fibers can be used to fashion bandages in case I get hurt. I should chop down some vines to obtain plant fibers and turn them into a bandage by hand. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so, anyway, we have a crafting table, my friends. Right here. Boop. And then you can press E on that to bring up the thing. Um, <clears throat> I will need more torches. But I need coal, which is actually very convenient that there's some right here. So I've learned to craft black dye, gunpowder. I uh, oh, and I picked up a crafting table. Okay, cool. Hey, and there's some fibers down here too. So yeah, if you've never played Starbound, um, it's a really cool game. It's still pretty early in its development. Um, I would say it's worth the buy if you want to see the game develop. Um, otherwise, I would wait. It, it's, you know, really preference. Some people are okay with early access. Some people aren't. Something just moved down there. There's some new enemies in this uh, update also. Actually, a lot of new enemies, and I think they've revamped some of the bosses too. Or the quests. Hmm. But yeah, it's uh... It's been fun. I've played a little bit of the update, but not really much. It was more getting ready to record for you guys, so... This is gonna be our actual adventure. I wanna see what this piercing shot does, too. Start growing a farm. I'll need to till the soil. I should craft a hoe using some wood and copper bars. I'll accept that quest. Uh, but first, let's see, what are my quests? Um, plant fibers, bandages. So, I need to make bandages. Okay. Let's see, I can go down here. And that takes four. Which, you're gonna use these. To stay healthy and add to my combat effectiveness, I'll need to cook some food. I should obtain some raw steak by killing a monster with a hunting bow or hunting spear and cook it on a, in a, on a campfire to produce cooked steak. This is all the basics, guys, but... Um, I like running through the basics with you guys. It's fun. Okay, so 
put bandages in the zero slot so I can get to them hopefully quickly. Uh, quick enough, anyway. Let's grab that. It's a nice little stool. So yeah, this game is fun, my friends. I've I've really spent a lot of hours in Starbound. Oh god. I'm not a very good shot. That was the piercing shot, by the way. Okay. Dang. What I need to do is make a sword. <laughs> I'm terrible with uh, guns. Unless they shoot a lot of bullets or rockets or anything to that nature. Ah oh, man, these new slime things are a pain. Uh, they aren't like Minecraft or uh, Terraria slimes. These ones actually lock on to you. Oh man, there's a lot of new little enemies around. Ah, oh, my stamina ran out. Or energy, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. So, let's see. We need some iron too, but anyway, let's uh, let's craft this bow. I'm used to bows more than uh... It's, it's weird because, like, in Terraria, it feels different. It's just, it's way different to me. Um, I need a campfire. And I need, what was it, a wood bow. Hunting bow, that's it. Or hunting spears, which actually, these are really good. But, we'll wait on that. A bow should do us fine. Hopefully. Let's put that up here. Okay. Now there's a sweet spot to the firing here. So you pull the bow, and you'll see it flash. And that flash is your uh, critical, or your your good shot. You aren't overdrawing the bow. But you can also short shot like this. It doesn't do as much damage. And there is unlimited ammo. It's based on your uh, based on your uh, stamina. So. There we go. Cool, we got a steak. And was this coffee? Pearl peas. That's a good thing to find early. Uh, pearl peas is an easily obtainable crop, so... Which, farming in this is crazy, guys. There's... A, you can farm and cook, literally, forever. <laughs> There's a lot of things to make. But yeah, you can change the uh, distance away. Like I'm, I'm playing close just because I never, I never play close, and uh, I want to make this series a little more personal. Like you guys are right there in the action with me. I wonder if these guys give you food. They should. Crap. There we go. Bunnies. Oh, twofer. Beautiful. Hey there, buddy. I think that thing's gonna charge me. Oh, yep. Bye. Ooh. What do we got? Uh, matter manipulator components, bandages, pixels. All good things to have. Cool. And we'll take that also. That's a pod chest. Um, what they do is, uh, well, 
The reason I pick things up like that is because you can actually 3D print things, and this is a 24 item storage, which is better than the regular old chests you can get. Let's get some of this cobble too. Beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy this series just as much as you do Terraria. Um, I'm still planning on getting into that again, don't worry. I'm just still in my break and I'm trying to get more variety on the channel. Um, because, man, I love Terraria, but... I mean, people will get tired of Terraria someday. It just... I hate it. <laughs> but, you know, uh, to future-proof the channel a little bit isn't bad. Just so I can keep doing what I love and you guys can keep enjoying- oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to kill you, I promise. <gasps> oh my god. Slime? Yes. Oh. I'm not- I'm not trying to kill you, I promise. Defend yourself. You! No! Bad. Give me steak. So yeah, I love Starbound, guys. Like, oh, I hope you guys enjoy Starbound, too. Let's cook this thing. Which, by the way, that dude didn't give me any, uh... Didn't give me any food. Uh, delicious! I'm sure I can cook some even tastier dishes once I find better ingredients. Maybe I should craft a hoe and find some seeds I can plant. Which, we already have seeds. Um, to make more advanced items, I'll need to craft a stone furnace using the crafting table. With the stone furnace, I'll be able to smelt raw ores into refined metal bars. Perfect. Uh, food is amazing in this game. It This is your buffs, is food. So, it's always good to have. Let's check this guy's crates, since he won't be using these. Beautiful. Um, I like metal crates too. I want to take that. I don't care so much for the wooden one, because we can craft them. So I'm just going to throw that away, because, yeah, it just doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, maybe a tent. That'll be a good thing to have. And that is more pearl peas. I hear something, but I don't see anything. Okay. Oh, lovely. Yeah, that's not... Something see me seriously down there? Oh my gosh. Gosh, that takes a lot of energy. Yeah, this isn't gonna be fun for me. Okay, maybe a little, but still. These guys are a pain. No, you go away. Oh, and we also have a mod. Um, I have the Mighty Music mod, guys. And the reason I have that is because it's the best mod ever made, period. For Starbound. <laughs> but yeah, um... Yeah, it's a good mod. You guys should check it out. And if you don't want the Mighty Music mod, you should check, uh, the... Just the music of the Mighty Music mod. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. Ah, man. Those guys hurt. Friggin' Zubat, get out of here. There's no way I'm getting into that cave. Not without a friend. And they didn't even drop anything. That's bunk. That's a bunk deal. These guys, I've fought them a few times. Uh, since the update came out. There we go. And they like spit acid or something like that. Or what I think is acid. Mm. 
But yeah, I'm definitely a sword type, so this is a good change for me. And we're gonna rest. Um, sleeping on a tent or a bed, in a tent or on a bed or a sleeping bag. Anything that you sleep in gives you life, so always good to have. <clears throat> You're still not uh, protected from enemies, so remember that. <laughs> they can still hit you. I don't know if it's supposed to hide you for the night or something, but I don't think it is. I think they would have implemented that already. Oh god, not you. Yeah, these guys aren't nice. Ouch. Oh, don't make me go Terraria skills on your ass. Okay, and it's good to find those little modules. Let's see if they did fix it. Hold on. Nope. Those things upgrade your uh, matter manipulator. So you can mine bigger areas, mine faster, things like that. Oh hey, there's a crate up here. Couple. More climbing ropes, more climbing ropes. Those are good to have early game. Okay, and I want this. So I don't have to print it. But yeah, good storage. Metal crates, because they stack. And they hold quite a few uh, items. Copper. Bomb. Wood. Wood planks. Excuse me. Okay, cool. We're almost out of torches, too. Come on down, buddy. Oh my gosh. Millie, you are a terrible shot. And this is what I call the sleepy time music. This music will put you to bed. <laughs> it's not very exciting. Um, hey, you know what? I could use a chair on the ship, couldn't I? Somewhere to relax. There we go. And you. Are you friendly? Nope. No. Bad. Okay. That's a big fish, which you can get food from, by the way. That piercing shot is cool for this gun, but gotta remember this is just the starter gun. It's not late game or anything. I gotta craft some torches too, but... Oh, okay. See ya! Friggin' bats. Okay. Ooh, one handed axe. Um, for sure, we will be taking that because it allows us to use our uh, flashlight. And it's a melee weapon. 7.5 damage per swing, 1.3 rate of fire. Um, this is faster. Energy, per, uh, that takes energy. Okay, 7.5 damage. This is uh, 3 damage. So, yeah, this axe is a good step up. It's faster rate of fire than our uh, Red Rider. A little bit of iron, some torches. Perfect. Beautiful. 
So yeah, we're on the right track. I just kind of want to get a little light in here. So yeah, melee is the way to go. Oh, look at that. He dropped me chicken because apparently that was a... Not a bat, it was a bird <laughs> of some sort. <laughs> ah, what am I doing fighting a big ass fish like that? Come on, buddy. I just want to kill you just to say I did. There we go. Okay, let's get out of there. So yeah, I'm gonna die in this series, guys. <laughs> For sure. It happens. Now, let's do some mining. See if we can find some more iron or copper or anything, pretty much. Gimme, gimme. Oh, lovely. There's one of those things up there. The bats. Whatever they are. Oh, that wasn't good. The big ones are mean. The small ones are... not really... worth the time. Oh crap. Ow. Okay, we're good. Let's heal up. And I need to craft torches, dang it. Um torch. That's plenty. There are fifty six torches. You know what? There. Ooh! This was, uh... I think this was... Was this last update? Hold on. What I need to do is get some climbing rope. Um, that is a... I can't remember what they're called. It's a like a challenge. Oh, there they are. I like those somewhere, somewhere in there. There we go. Okay, climbing rope up. There we go. So yeah, this is like a, a challenge portal or something like that. I think that's what it's called. I might be totally wrong. Challenge portal. Yep. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Um, these things are like a challenge that you can do and it gives you... Uh, like a tiered weapon or something. Oh, jeez. What the heck was that? Holy crap. Um, I'm supposed to get past that? Okay, hold on. Let's get bandages in our hand. Go! Oh, man. Okay. I see how that works, I guess. Go! I can't see anything. Oh, lovely. So yeah, we will probably get something pretty cool from this thing. What does that do? Does that open a door or a way out or anything? Hmm.
Oh, crap. We're good. They don't hurt that bad. Oh, okay. Perfect. So that's the end. Um, if you have the morph ball, there's usually a secret, uh, like a secret chest or something you can get, and that's where you get that. The morph ball, um, I can't remember what it's called. Looks like we have a Calyx Mountain Blaster. It's a one-handed pistol, damage per shot, 3.5, rate of fire, 1.9. What's our current pistol? 1.753 damage. Um, 7.6 energy per shot. This one's six, so it's a little more energy, but it's also got, uh, I think it's poison. So that's actually a good trade. Take that and an upgrade module, which is useful for upgrading ships and equipment, I guess. Cool. So yeah, our new pistol. And I think it poisons, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like it's a little inaccurate, actually. Oh well. That's okay, faster rate of fire, right? And you can't take anything in these, so... Yeah, that's partly the reason why we didn't just mine <laughs> to find things. But yeah, I guess that is the first episode, my friends. So, oh, whoa, hold on. Not a friendly. Yeah, this does a little more damage. It's kind of laggy a little bit, but that's all right. I think it's just because I'm recording and yeah. Recording's always weird with this game. But yeah, anyway, um, ah, I want to get this iron real quick. I'm going to end it here in a few. Just give me a second. Just give me a second, okay? Calm yourselves. Because they're like, oh my gosh, get done with this episode so you can make another one. Okay, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!